Is it wrong for someone to marry somebody from a different denomination? Is it a wrong thing for somebody to marry from a different denomination? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching me from. And I say, God bless you. Thank you for always joining us. Please remember to share after watching this video. And God will bless you richly in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. As I was saying, it is not a wrong thing for you to marry somebody in a different denomination. It's not a wrong thing. It's not a wrong thing. It's not a sin. It's not a sin at all. It's not a sin for you to marry somebody from another church. Because so many of us, we find it uh, uh, difficult these days. You say, because the person is not from my church. The person is not the same church with me. Because of that, I'm not going to get married to that person. You are making a very big mistake as a person. Praise the Lord. You are making the, you are making a very big mistake. You must not say because this person is not from your church. Because if you go and marry some, because so many of us, we are taking it as if it's a sin for you to go and marry somebody that is not the same church with you. That is not going to the same church with you. Praise Master Jesus. The truth is, in heaven, there is no name of church in heaven. The only thing that we have in heaven is children of God. So where is this thing coming from that it must be my church? If it is not my church, I'm not going to get married. My dear brother, my dear sister, you are, you are, you are, what, you are putting yourself in a bondage. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that if you are in a particular church, since let me see, plus and minus you have been there when you were 25 years old. Now you are 45. You have not got you have not getting married. My dear, nobody puts you in bondage. You are the one that puts yourself in bondage. Because the truth is, people are becoming your way. You are be praying and God have answered. And people, a lot of people have come your way. But because you see that it's going to be sin. It's a sin if for me, for me to go and marry from another church. Who says so? It's not a sin. It can never be sin. Praise the Lord. It can never be sin, my brother. It can never be sin, my sister. The most important thing that you need to look out for as a single person that is searching. Look for somebody that have at least the same dream with you. Somebody that have character. The character of Jesus, Christ-like. Somebody that have the fear of God. These are the qualities that you need to look out for. Praise the Lord. Don't say because the person is not from your church. Because of that, you are not going to marry the person. Do you think the church you have been when you were 25 years old, you did not see a life partner? Nobody come for you. Do you not think now you are 45 years? Manna will not come from heaven. A miracle will not suddenly happen. Praise Master Jesus. What do you think? Think about it. When you were young and beautiful, handsome, you didn't see somebody. That you say, okay, this is what I, I this is this somebody that come for you. You not think now you are old. Sorry to use the word old. The, what I mean is that at least you are advanced in age. You not think that the person will not come. The, the person will not come to say hello. The, the, the people that went outside and married here and there, you were there. People are getting married every day and you are there. My brother, my sister, come out from that bondage. Don't mind what people will see. And another thing that keeps so many of us in another in a bondage is pride. I'm looking for a particular choice of mine. If it is not this choice, this is the kind of person that I want. There's another problem. Please, there is a need as a person. Do not say because the person is not from your church. Because you are you are you are assembly, so 
you are a winner so the person is not from winners therefore you are not going to get married to the person don't waste your time stop wasting your time god have heard your prayer but you yourself are to what move out from that bondage that you put yourself there is a need for you to do that and the bible tells us go among my my, my brethren and marry for my son because that is the word many people now used to preach understanding of the word of god matters a lot yes that is what the bible says god told abraham told his servant go among my brethren and marry for my son who are the brethren who are the family the family of christ of course the body of christ of course does Abraham tell go to the, my church? He did not say go to my church. He said my brethren, my family. Then if we are one, if you are calling the same God, you are having the same God with me. You say we are Christian. We are Christ-like. We are believers. We are serving one God. We are pursuing one God. Then we are brothers and sisters. We are brothers and sisters in the Lord. Therefore, we need to do what? Get married among ourselves. So don't make a mistake as a young lady or as a young man, young gentleman. Don't make a mistake by saying the person must come from your church. There are people in that same church with you that does not have the fear of God. They are going to church every day. Church is their second home, but they don't have the fear of God. So what I want you to get in this message is that it must not be from that church. Look somewhere else. So as a young lady and as a young man, don't make that mistake by putting yourself in a bondage. Some of us, somebody was telling me that I, because of the adultery, you know the adulteries are different. Ma, are you going to get married to your daughter, to the daughter of the church, or you are getting married to somebody? Because the adultery is different. The doctrine that you are talking about is somebody that wrote it. Is somebody that sits, he sat on his parlor comfortably and he wrote those doctrine that you are talking about. What do you mean because of the doctrine? Because we are, we, because of the doctrine, and I'm not going to. No, you, you are making a very big mistake. There's a need for you to be wise. The Bible says, be wise. Open your eyes, my brother. Open your eyes, my sister. Look somewhere else. There's something for you there. Praise the Lord. I just want to inform you. It's time for you to wake up from your slumber. If you have been sleeping, stop waiting for a miracle to happen. When the miracle has taken place, even though not only to you, God has brought so many people to your way, nice people to your way, but you use your hand to push them aside because you are believing that you, the person must come from the same church denomination with you the person that does not see you when you were young now is it now that is going to see you please my brothers and my sisters especially young ladies and young men out there wake up don't put yourself in a corner don't put yourself in a bondage hoping that somebody tomorrow you say somebody is not somebody that did it you are the one that had to do come out from that bondage and as you do that god will bless you richly in jesus name Amen and amen. I pray for you. May God direct you. May God lead your step as a single person. Whether you are a man or a woman, believe in God for, for a life pattern. I pray that God will order your step to meet to the bone of your bone, with the flesh of your flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you till you come your way some other time for my next video. And remain my humble self, Evangelist Favor Benson. Please remember to share this video. Let it be a blessing to somebody out there. And God will bless you richly. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. I want to let you know that Jesus Christ loves you. He loves you. And don't forget that he's coming very soon. Be wise. God bless you. Bye. <music>